very much. Kia ora koutou. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here today on what must be the coldest day that we have ever had in Kauru. I, uh, as I came up from Wellington this morning, I said to my wife, look, it was 23 degrees there yesterday, Lance, too. So uh, we wouldn't have any problems, but this has just been exceptional. Can I start off uh, by acknowledging uh, Dr. Emily Hermanson and Lance? Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here today. Can I acknowledge my parliamentary colleague, Anne Tolley, uh, Anne works just tirelessly for the Eastern Bay of Plenty, and I couldn't think of anybody better uh, to follow uh, as a, a Member of Parliament for Kauru than Anne. She does a fantastic job. Apologies from our other colleagues, uh, Todd McClay and Te Uroroa. Uh, Te has become a grandfather, so of course he's far more interested in the moho today uh, than anybody else, and Todd McClay isn't a grandfather yet, but no doubt will want to be. Can I acknowledge His Worship the Mayor Malcolm Campbell? Gosh, wasn't that fantastic to see how quickly that resource consent came through? I'm building a new hospital in Christchurch and we're going to put the application through you. If we can get it done that quick, it would be fantastic. Chris from Tupari Toroki Kauro, wonderful to have you here. Also to acknowledge uh, Katrina uh, from K Town Pharmacy and uh, Dr. Lance Sullivan and his wife from Kai Tai. Fantastic to have you here. Wonderful. Uh, to be sitting with the New Zealander of the year. <laughs> Would everyone like to get up to do star jumps just to warm themselves up or something like that? Maybe not. I'll, do, I'll be very quick. You know, nothing is more important to New Zealanders than their health and knowing that they can have the peace of mind that there are healthcare professionals there for them uh, to rely on when they need it most. And you know, health in New Zealand, whānau is the centre, but primary care, doctors, nurses, healthcare assistants, pharmacists in the community are all there to support us as we take responsibility for our health and to try and lead better lives. And I think it's fantastic as I see your logo here, uh, the heart of healthcare right here in the middle of Kauro. It's a wonderful vision to be able to provide that quality of service for everybody. I'm also highly impressed uh, that you are following a far more modern, a more futuristic way of providing health care to people with both, the, you know, not only the doctors delivering the health care, but very smart practice nurses, very clever health care assistants, and also very smart pharmacists. Everybody has a role to play in providing care for our families and for our individuals. Also excellent to acknowledge the wonderful work that uh, people in Kauro are doing about immunising our children. Uh, we have made huge progress in New Zealand in immunising our young kids. In fact, in half of our district health boards in New Zealand today, the Māori immunisation rate is higher than the Pākehā immunisation rate. So that just tells you the big changes that we're making in our communities. Uh, also, we've got so much that we could do as individuals to take responsibility for our health care uh, and the way that we deal with tobacco is another way that we need to reflect on that. I don't know if there's anyone here who smokes. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a big program that we're running across the country called ABC and Smoking. Uh, it's what happens when everyone goes to their GP now, they're A, asked if they're a smoker. If they are, we give them B, a brief conversation, and we offer them C, cessation medicine, A, B, C. And people are coming from around the world to hear about what we're doing here. And I went overseas to the World Health Assembly in Geneva, my only overseas trip as <laughs> Minister of Health in my first term. And I was out there talking to them about this ABC that we're doing to prevent smoking in New Zealand. We've got it down to 15%. It's just fantastic. We're really, beating the Australians. And I'm talking about this ABC, and everyone from Africa started talking to themselves. And I don't know how many of you ever do public speaking, but you really know you've lost your audience when they all start talking to each other and mumbling to each other. So I gave my talk about this ABC and smoking, and then I got to sit down next to this lady from Jamaica, and I said, oh, you know, what's happening? An international incident. Everyone from Africa was talking amongst themselves. And she said, that's because in Africa they have ABC, for HIV AIDS. <laughs> A for abstinence, B for be faithful, and C if you can't use a condom. 
and they couldn't work out how that stopped smoking. <laughs> so when you're enrolling here at the Kawaro Medical Centre, you'll get an ABC, but you'll know what it's about. Can I also acknowledge this fantastic innovation of telehealth that uh, you're going to be providing here. And I can see Mr. Ernie Newman, who's one of our head honchos in all of this stuff, is here with us here today. This is changing healthcare everywhere. And uh, they've got it in Oporiki. Uh, this means people can connect directly with hospital specialists in Pakitani and Tauranga uh, without this burden of having to travel everywhere. And that's what's going to change so much of healthcare is this use, to, use of technology. And in the next couple of years, you'll be able to sit at your home in Kauro and log on through the internet and communicate with your GP and nurse, look at your medical record, take a lot more control of your health care, uh, which is really where we all want to be. Can I thank you, Malcolm, for your nice comments about the Whakatane Hospital? Anne and I are going to open that uh, in a couple of Thursdays. Uh, $65 million, huge investment, uh, but actually there's no point and having a great hospital if you haven't got great doctors and nurses working in the community. And that's what we're here to celebrate today. So thanks very much for the opportunity to be here uh, and to just acknowledge the fantastic investment that's being made here. You know, it takes a lot of guts to invest a lot of money in a business like this. And I just take my hat off to Emily and Lance and the family for making this decision really fantastic for Kauro just a great place to be. Thanks very much. Thank